Hey guys, it's Tom aka Tasty and I'm here to do a Photoshop tutorial on Adobe Photoshop CS6 and I'm going to show you how to do the indent effect like is shown right here. So to start out you're going to have to, uh, well, I'm going to delete these two layers and we're going to select the text tool and I'm going to type some text. Uh, you can prefer to use any type of font. I'm going to use a grayish font like this. And uh, we're going to go into uh, effects and then we're going to go to blending options. So we're going to add a drop shadow uh, like this. And we're going to put, first of all, uh, the blend mode normal to, to normal. We're going to put the color to white and the opacity to 30%. We're going to put the distance to 3 and then over here all the way to 0. And now we're going to put, we're going to turn off, use global light and put it, the angle to 90 degrees. And right after we're going to go to inner shadow. We're going to leave everything like the same here. And we're going to also put to 90 degrees the angle. We're going to put 3, 0, and 5. And we're going to click OK. So you still, you start by getting this indent effect, but that is not cool enough. So we're going to go duplicate the layer and uh, we're going to hide the, the layer above. We're going to go over there and clear the layer style. Then we're going to go to text. We're going to put the color to, sorry, we're going to put the color to white. And we are going to go right click and rasterize type. Next, we're going to select the layer. We're going to go to filter, blur and then Gaussian Blur and put the radius to 8 pixels. Now we're going to select Command if you're on a Mac or Control if you're on PC and select the icon on the layer above and then we're going to hit delete and I'm going to deselect and now we're going to make this layer appear and it's still not that good so we're going to select our eraser make sure to have a pretty nice uh, size and uh, hardness all the way down and now we're going to click here, click shift, and then do this. And there we have it. We have our pretty nice indent effect. And as always, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button below, and leave a comment. It will help support us. And this has been Tasty, aka Tom, and I'll see you guys next time.